Groundproofing is a very important aspect of acoustic biomass estimation. We need to be able to determine the size of animals that we are seeing as well as what type of animals we are seeing. Uh, currently we, we use nets to catch samples. The ships have got an incredible running cost and this limited time that it's on the sea itself. So with a swarm of these, we, uh, for a significantly low running cost, we could uh, get a lot more information about what is happening out there now, uh, filling in the gaps of uh, what the species are doing, where they're going, when uh, our fishing can take place, and yeah, the economical impact on this could be massive. And basic drive for it is for us to, to, to help fisheries and to be able to go out and do their surveys better. We were approached by CSIR to, to see if we had any interest in developing this uh, product further by incorporating some, some acoustic technology into it. And I, thought, I think we thought that was an ideal opportunity. Uh, we uh, have therefore provided some, some equipment that we happen to have available. Um, and I can see that there's definitely potential for, for further collaboration in, in, on this project and in other, in other aspects. Mm. This project brought together different partners, um, one being the CSR, um, as well as partners from the industries like Sea Technologies, um, who did most of the development, and then um, Illiquid Robotics, who's provided the platform and the equipment, and the uh, Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, who provided the um, sonars and you know, the equipment itself and support and direction for this project. We've managed to develop the, um, the, 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 the equipment in such extent that um, we actually are there. This is the pilot box. Uh, it's got the um, GPT, which is General Purpose Trans uh, Transducer. It communicates with the, uh, the actual transducer there and the information is then put into a way that it can be stored. This is actually a Windows uh, computer that runs the whole system as if it's on the ship. And we've got our power boards, the liquid robotics interface boards, and then the, some basic electronics like relays and um, power converters. It's been quite challenging to get all the equipment together, and the team has been absolutely amazing with the ability to, uh, in a very short period of time, address issues, resolve it, and then in an effective way. I think the, the initial feedback uh, from the, the, the couple of test runs we've done is, is very positive. Um, the acoustic signal seems to be working very well. It's got a very stable signal. Uh, a couple of issues we still need to look at is things of how we might adapt it further to allow for us to identify targets that we actually see uh, with the acoustic system. There's several applications that I can see long term uh, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, Obviously one of them is, is assisting us with, with understanding our fish resources better, uh, determining migration patterns outside of times when we are normally surveying. Furthermore, uh, long term we might even consider, you know, uh, going large scale, uh, boosting our survey effort during our routine surveys by, by getting one or two of these uh, pieces of equipment to actually do surveys concurrently with a research vessel, uh, which would be a big cost saving. The whole Africa could benefit from uh, knowing exactly what the fish levels are and then um, being able to ap uh, accurately um, determine the, the impact fishing is having and to control it so that uh, future generations will also have fish to um, use as a resource.